getting the opportunity to actually put on that jersey and go play in Packard and, and be part of two teams that went to the, the College World Series, being a number one national seed team. Um, it, it was just big. It's just something that uh, you take pride in. You, it, I, I get to say that I'm a Sun Devil now and all the accolades that they get to be part of it, going forward in the future, like I was, I was part of that tradition. It was always Cole's dream to put on the maroon and gold, but it was a long journey that made Cole into a Sun Devil outfielder. I was born in Tempe, um, grew up in Phoenix for the uh, first 14 years of my life. And then uh, my family went and they bought, some, my parents bought some land out in Buckeye and so I went to high school out there. An all-state quarterback and electric outfielder, Cole was a two-sport star in high school. Well, baseball was uh, my number one passion. Um, just that, that's always been my dream, my goals and stuff. So it was never, uh, football was just kind of fun. And I was, I was okay, but I was short, man. I was a quarterback and I could throw the football, but I, I didn't have a future there. <laughs> Cole seemingly made the right decision, but it wasn't his athletic ability alone that took him to the big stage. He's just wired for success. He's not gonna take no for an answer. After a successful high school career, Cole had to pick where he wanted to play college ball. His first stop was not to Tempe, to play for Tim Esme. I, I had talked with Esme um, when I was in high school and, and it just never really panned out to be a, a really good situation where I felt like this is where I, I can go and start and really help a team. So um, junior college was, a, was a, a great bet for me. Cole spent two years at Yavapai College where he took his game to the next level and got the attention of former Sun Devils manager, Pat Murphy. I definitely wanted to play for, for ASU, but I had to wait a little bit. And, um, but when uh, Murph came, came calling and, and uh, offered me a scholarship, I mean, there was no hesitation. I, I tried to act like a, the tough guy, but that was always my, uh, a lifelong goal of mine. And, and uh, yeah, when I got the opportunity, I jumped all over it. An additional advantage was sharing a clubhouse with future major leaguers Mike Leak and Ike Davis. I was looking up to guys that I even played with, like Leak. I, I loved watching. Um, Ike was a big player. You just kind of like look up. These guys are going to the College World Series, and it's just like, man, I've I've watched this growing up, and and when I got an opportunity to be a part of it, like I said, jumped all over it. Cole looked up to great players on the field, but it was his role models off of the field that helped him stay focused on baseball. His parents are very passionate. They're, they they love the game of baseball. They love Cole. Um, his dad. I, I mean, I'm a parent. I got little girls and stuff, and I know that they're just on cloud nine. That their son plays major league baseball. They uh, have been <laughs> been through it all with me. You know, from taking me to uh, to tournaments and and all the sacrifices they made on weekends. I mean, all our vacations, all, all their vacation time was based around baseball. And and for my sisters as well. I mean, my my family is such a big support base that. Uh, you know, without them, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. Today, Cole is a starter in right field for the Angels, the team that had the most wins in Major League Baseball this season. There's just one thing he'd like for everybody to remember. I, I'm just uh, just a kid that, that loves to play the game, you know. I, 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 I don't really, I'm not some big superstar or anything like that, but um, I got a chance to, to achieve my goals and, and reach my dream. I mean, I got my dream job. I get to play baseball for a living. So um, extremely lucky and blessed and I hope everybody knows that.